Hi there, Kayla here from Vine Skills, and today I am so excited to share with you some information about AI fields. So what are AI fields? AI fields were created by FileVine in order to allow you and your team to upload different documents such as medical records, police reports, etc., right into FileVine, have AI analyze and summarize them for you so that you're able to quickly glance at that information without having to, you know, perhaps look through hundreds of pages of medical records. Now, it's important to note that these AI fields were built specifically with safety in mind, right? So what that means is that they have a zero day retention. So none of your data is being, you know, saved and pushed out anywhere or is available on the internet or anything like that. Everything is safe right inside FileVine. The only thing the fields do is they analyze that document that was provided. They summarize it and kind of push it out into a text box so that you're able to quickly glance at that information, but it's not sending it anywhere else. The other important thing to note is that the AI fields do not pull any information from the internet, right? They only live in FileVine and they are only based off predetermined prompts. So you're never going to receive AI hallucinations. The AI is not going to try to like fill in the gaps for you or anything like that. It is only going to analyze and summarize what you've provided. So let's jump in and take a look at how the AI fields work together. Let's take a look at some AI fields together. So right now I am in my intake section and as you can see here, I've got these two fields, police report AI upload field and police report AI analysis. And the reason I have two fields is because the analysis field is going to be attached to the upload field. So it knows which documents to analyze based on where I'm uploading them. You can see here that both of these fields are AI fields because they've got these cool little purple stars next to them, uh, which I really like. I think that they're fun and it's a great way to just indicate, hey, if you upload this here, it's going to be analyzed by AI. So what you're going to do is if you have your police report ready to go and you would like to have that analyzed, you can either upload it or attach it if it is already available uh, within the doc section. So I actually just uploaded Harry Potter's police report today. So I am going to grab that here. And once I place that in the AI upload field, AI is going to start running and it is going to uh, summarize that police report for me and it's going to show up right here in this text box. Now it is important to note that once you've selected that document you do want to go ahead and click save because that is what is going to prompt it to start running. So as you can see here, here is the little kind of spinning wheel and it's going to tell me AI analysis is in progress. So we're going to wait just a moment and it is going to go ahead and summarize the police report for us. All right, so as you can see here, the AI has finished. There's a little green check mark here now. So that's gonna show us, yep, it's all done. It's ready for me to take a look at. And here is my summarized police report. So it's really great. It tells me right here, AI field analysis start. So that tells me that that is where the beginning of the analysis is. You can see here what the file is, the date, the time. And then it gives you, here's a summary of the police report in a narrative form. And here it is on, you know, January 1st, 2000 at 8 p.m. There was an accident involving Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort at the intersection of the sky above Hogwarts and the Whomping Willow. Uh, you know, Lord Voldemort, he was driving under the influence of butterbeer in a Prius. Uh, he didn't have a valid driver's license or insurance. So... That is a really great quick summary of what happened. It discusses whether or not there are any witnesses. So there must have been some witnesses mentioned in the report there. And then it's going to end the analysis. So that was just a very brief example of the power of AI fields. If I head over to my medical section, we can take a look at together another prompt so here is an additional uh, AI upload field and breakdown field that we put into our medical section here. 
we've uploaded a medical analysis report and the prompt that goes along with it that it is analyzing for is to analyze for any injuries, treatment, or surgeries in the medical records and to give us a brief narrative of what happened. And as you can see here, the AI pulled out the exact injuries. So we've got a fractured C4 and then also a broken T3 and T4. What was the treatment that this client received? Uh, you know, they had some pain management, they had a specialist consultation, and it actually even gives us the page where these items are located so that you're able to go back and quickly reference those medical records when writing a demand or when, you know, on the phone with an insurance company and you're trying to negotiate. So AI fields can really help you streamline your workflow and, you know, get the answer quickly and efficiently. Additionally, it does give us, you know, information that no surgeries happened within these medical records and then also a quick narrative summary of exactly what happened. So these are just two wonderful examples of how AI fields work. We hope that AI fields will continue to help your team streamline their work and, you know, just get the job done faster so that you and your team can return to doing what you do best, which is working with your clients and having that really human aspect of law come to life. So if you have any questions about AI fields, please feel free to reach out to your VineScales optimizer and we would be happy to help. Thank you.